His name is Crocodile Dundee. Good night. Now, he's leaving the Outback. Welcome to Los Angeles. For the jungle. So why a third Crocodile Dundee? Why not? Is it something that was your idea? Did Paramount come to you? No. Or? Paramount came to me for many years after the uh, second one to do a third or a fourth or whatever. But I didn't have any interest in it. I didn't feel any any reason to sort of revive the character. But then I went to live in LA for a couple of years and when I left I looked back upon it and couldn't resist the urge of bringing him out of the bush and sticking him into LA. Well, uh, Paul came up with a good idea and you know after he did the second one everyone said, oh you gotta make a third one or a fourth one or whatever. I said, no, I really don't know where I can take this character. I think, you know, I'm finished and then he must be on Australian Outback time because <laughs> something like 13, 14 years later, he came up with an idea for a third one. Welcome to the Paramount Pictures Studio Tour. Look out, it's a giant deadly anaconda. Sorry. I read an, uh, an article where you said that you were you know, basically lazy, just like you just said, and if it wasn't for Linda, you wouldn't be doing anything. Mm -hmm. What did you mean by yeah. that? Because uh, she's the active one. You know, she's a New York girl, or originally Connecticut. And uh, I'm, um, I don't pretend to be laid back. I really am. And uh, if it wasn't for her sort of having to get up and go and the energy to sort of to go somewhere and do things, I, I'd sort of like lay around my hammock a little bit, you know, or wander around in the bush or something, or go to the beach. Well, he is. He's a little bit like an Australian lizard. I and mean, he can just sort of lay by the pool all day and bake in the sun and be a real lazy bones. And I'm from New York originally and I'm kind of hyper and active so we make a good couple because he, he relaxes me and I kind of prod him on. And so every couple of years I get the urge to do something and I do something and then I vanish off the face of the earth for another couple of years. Did you bring any Linda to this character at all? Sue has paralleled my life in a lot of ways. How, how you so? Know? Um, well, she fell in love with Crocodile Dundee and, and Paul and I met on the film and got married and now in the third movie she's a mother and I'm a mother. <laughs> so in those ways it's kind of very easy to relate to her. It's not about risk, I thought, is it going to be fun? Is it going to be fun for people? And I, I think it is, so what's the matter? You know? 